Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SKL's guide to apply for Wage Subsidy Program 2.0. Today, we are going to go through with you step by step. How do we apply for this Wage Subsidy Program? What are the rules? What are the documents that you have to prepare? How do you prepare the letter? How do you prepare the schedule? Everything in this one video. Before I start, let us go through some of the key changes that were proposed by the Prime Minister during our last SME stimulus package. Change number one, in respect of 75 employees and below, the qualifying condition of more than 50% drop in sales is now lifted. In short, as long you have less than 75 employees, you can straight away register for this WSP. And the most important is the amount initially was 600 ringgit, now increased by double to 1,200 ringgit per employee. If your number of employees is within 76 to 200, then the amount would be 800 per employee. If you have employees more than 201 and above, then your wage subsidy program will be 600 per employee. If you fall within these two category, which is 76 employees and above, then you have to do a comparison of your sales revenue to prove that your revenue has decreased more than 50% compared to January 2020. Key changes number two. Initial guide issue out, Perkeso classify these employers into a few categories, which include micro and small businesses, you have medium businesses and also large businesses but now all this definition has been lifted they only look at the size based on the number of employees now key changes number three when you calculate this number of employees 75 until 200 above you have to include the number of foreign workers as well but it doesn't mean that these foreign workers can claim wsp the general idea is to add them in to determine the size of the business. Number four, employer and employee must have already registered with SOXO and also has been paying SOXO. If you are a new business incorporation, then this is a bad news for you. Newly incorporated companies may not be able to claim this wage subsidy program. It is for companies which has been incorporated before 1st January 2020 and has already operated before January 2020. Number five is a good news to me, non-audit firm or even audit firm. The initial guide issue out by SOXO, the eligible companies are only companies which were registered with SSM or the local authorities. In this new guide, they also included professional firms such as legal firms, accounting firms, etc. Now you have understand most of the key changes, let's start applying. You just need to go to prihatin.perkeso.gov.my and you click on the blue button which is the Permohonan Bulan Pertama. Once you click that button, it will lead you to this page. Now please take note of the qualifying condition here for all of them. Number one is the employee has to be 4,000 and below. Number two is the employer must show to the authority that their sales has decreased more than 50% compared to January 1st. This rule will not be applicable for companies or businesses who has less than 75 employees. Number three, the employer is not allowed to retrench, right, to fire the employees and also to force them to take unpaid leave for these three months that you apply for wage subsidy program and the subsequent three months. Number four is the employer is not allowed to deduct their salary or in short, pay cut. The details of this application form is actually quite simple. Number one is the number Pendaftaran Majikan normally refers to your incorporation or business registration number and you key in your bank account number. You choose your bank account here and you put in your name, all right? And you put in your code Majikan. Code Majikan refers to your employer code for SOXO. Right? It normally starts with an alphabet and ends with an alphabet. Okay, you put in your industry, you can put in your activity, 
you can put in your address and your postcode and then your state and you put in your number right, your fax number and then your email address okay something that i want to highlight to you is this part how many employees you have okay pekerja sebenar here you have to include your local and your foreign workers let's say i have 10 employees in total then we have to identify how many employees their pay is more than 4000 which is 4001 and above so let's say two of them has more than 4000 let's say i have two foreign workers 10 minus 2 2 the balance would be the one that i can claim my wage subsidy program so the bilangan pekerja yang dituntut, you have to put six. Okay, there is another part that you need to fill up, which is the sebab, the reason why your sales decrease. It can be due to sales demand drop, it can be because of operation cost, but most likely, most of you, I think, will fall under the last category, which is due to movement control order, the company cannot operate. Right, go down to the second part of the uh, application. There are six items that you need to upload. If you have less than 76 employees, which is one to 75, you just need to upload five documents, which is one, two, three, four, five, the first five. So these are the checklists that you have to go through as well. Total, there are five documents for you to upload during this application. Number one is the statutory declaration of your application you just need to download that pdf here number two is the list of employees in excel format you can also download the excel here number three is your ssm documents and your incorporation documents for example uh, for companies act 1965 we are referring to form 9 referring to form 13 24 49 if you are a newly incorporated company under the Companies Act 2016, then we are referring to Section 14 form, Section 17 form, and even Section 58 form. If you are partnership also proprietors, then highly likely you are referring to your form donkey, form D. And you just need to download these forms and then scan a copy, prepare for upload. Number four is ID Pengenalan Bank Panel. Initially, it was mentioned by the social officer that refers to your incorporation documents. After this website has been updated, they include a file here. And you can download this PDF. It basically wants the company to confirm that the business registration number that you have is exactly the one that you apply for the bank so that when the SOXO transfer the funds over through the bank, they can do a matching back to your business incorporation number or your business registration number. So there's a letter for you to fill up. Number five is the bank statement. And you just need to upload your bank statement, which uh, will be used to receive the funds from the government. Number six is your sales statement or your profit and loss statement. This is to prove that your sales has decreased more than 50% and it is only for companies who has more than 75 employees. Out of these five documents, three has been provided by the SOXO, and they are very kind. And the file that they provide to you is a PDF copy. In order to ease the process, I have converted the file from PDF into a document file, which is a Word file. You just need to download this Word file and amend accordingly. So for example, my name, and what is my name? Eh, you should know your name very well. Okay, what is your IC number? Okay, Yang Alamat. then you can put your address, uh, your office address, full office address. And then number one, okay, you are the Wakil Majikan for the company name ANC Group. And the code Majikan, which is the Sokso code, adalah berkuasa dan diberi kuasa. And you are authorized to do this declaration. Number two is basically a declaration to say all the information provided is accurate and you are complying with all the rules. 2.1, here you have been experiencing a drop of sales more than 50% okay, compared to the January 2020 month. However, this is only for employees who has 70 five employees and above 2.2 you have to commit to SOXO that you will pay the employees wages okay, which is in the program subsidy upa wage subsidy program and you cannot 
retrench them during these three months and the subsequent three months. 2.3. You will update the information if there is any changes immediately. Number four, you have registered yourself, which is the company, and the employees under SOSO Act. Number five, you will not pay this wage subsidy program to any foreign workers. And it has to be only for the residents. 2.6, Pakeso has the right to request for any additional information and supporting documents. So here you have to put your name and this is declaration is done by you. It can be in small capital, it can be in big capital. Okay, I'll leave that to you. And you have to put the date. Let's say today's date is 9th April 2020. And the last part, you have to sign off okay, or your director has to sign off and you have to put a company stamp. That's the first document completed. Let's look at the second letter which is the confirmation on business registration number BRN. Please change the letterhead. If you have your own hard copy letterhead, you can print it out. Otherwise, you can put your soft copy letterhead here or you can amend accordingly. Okay, what you need to do is to go to this box here, business registration number. Okay, put in your business registration number. Okay, the company registration number, for example, this normally lah, for some example. And this number has to match with your bank account, okay? This is normally the registration number that you use to apply or open your bank account. It definitely should match back to your own business registration number. Okay, the last part here is to put in your name, okay? either the director's name or the authorized person's name, the phone number and the email address. Then you just export it and that's the number two file completed. Let's look at your file number three, which is the name list, the Excel list. Okay, first part, you need to change your uh, code magican, your employee code number, all right? And then you will have your own name, the company's name, put in the company name. Okay, then you will come to this, which claim it is. Normally starts with number one, and you put in your employee's name, okay, the IC number, what is the gender, okay, your uh, pangkat, okay, pangkat, whether this is a manager level, senior level, junior level, and you have to put in the destination. Okay, education part, whether this is in a PhD or in master's or in degree. Okay, then you put in the number, the email okay, of the employee. Okay, the last part is the wage, the current wage. What is the amount? FAQ number 20 mentioned that the definition of wage according to section 2 of the social act refers to any monetary remuneration paid to the employee which includes the gross pay which includes the overtime commission allowance etc okay so once you complete all these files then the next thing you need to do is just to upload the file right find out where the document is you can uh, follow my style i put one two three four five so i don't miss any one of them Okay, you can choose one, um, choose number one. Okay, the list is number two. Uh, SSM documents would be number three. Your ID pengenalan, which is the letter, it's number four. And number five is the bank statement. All right, the next thing you need to do is just click hantar. Once hantar, you will receive this notification ask you to proceed to declaration. What you need to do is to confirm all the details here, the bute bute machikan, the details of the employers are correct. Your bank account, your bank name, your code, all these are correct. You just need to run through and make sure everything is in order. The more important part I would say is the last two parts, your part B and part C. You go through the documents and make sure you upload the, the right documents rather than your own photo. And then you do a declaration of the employer. And there are five things that you have to agree Although I don't agree with number two, but let's go through it. Number one is to ensure that all the documents above and also the information provided is correct and accurate. Number two is to ensure your sales has dropped 50%, which I don't agree. If let's say your employee is less than 75, you do not need to comply this rule. But uh, sadly, the system I think is not updated. So if you don't take, uh, you cannot proceed. Number three, I understand that if let's say I make a fake claim, then the government can take a legal action against me. Number four, I have to make sure I pay 
the salary as normal to my employees. And number five is that I must ensure that I do not retrench them, I do not force them to take on pay leave, and I do not cut their pay. That's it, the last part is just to press hantar and submit. Once you submit it, you will receive a notification and they will give you a reference number. Keep the reference number. This is very, 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 very important in order for you to keep track with the payment or even to check whether your application has been approved or not. That basically it that's all basically it is it's that simple wage subsidy program 2.0 you just need to go through these steps and you will receive 1200 per employee in your bank account that subsidizes their salary payment i hereby wish you all the best take care thank you very much and good luck with your application i'll see you in the next video I am Song and I'll see you in the next video.